Welcome, Eurovision fans. I think it's about time we go listen to that Albania remake. Albania was my top song for many, many, many weeks. And then, well, we got a lot of other songs. The thing is, Albania is still in my top five. Albania is still in my top three. So, can Albania climb right back up into my number one spot? We're going to have to see. I want to hear this revamp and hear what they did with the song, and uh, I'll give some thoughts on it. So, here we go. This is one of the best songs of the year, absolutely. Hmm. That right there, a little different. Got some chanting in the background. Her voice is just incredible. Mmm, this part. Chills. So beautiful right there, that music. And I love the eagle for uh, Albania there. Oh, it's just such a mythical and beautiful song. And it's a song that's, you know, deep, heartfelt, meaningful um, about the wars and people coming back and missing people that have moved away and everything. Uh, there's also some real joy just in the beauty of the music of this song. It really is, to me, one of the very best songs of the year. I've got some hard choices to make. Um, my favorite songs, and I'll just go ahead and throw this out here, and I'm still trying to decide, and it's going to be a huge decision, but yeah, Albania is in my top two. It's going to be number one or number two, and I don't know which one it's going to be. Um, I have also have Israel jumped way up there because of the effect of that song. Just a gorgeous song. So I've got Israel now that's in contention for my number one spot. I've got Portugal that I love since I heard that song. Uh, I've got Norway. Norway's a little more upbeat. Um, I like that from the start as well. And then I've got the Netherlands, which just blew me away. Um, probably for my top spot, it's a 
two-horse race between Albania and Netherlands, but Israel's right there, and so is Portugal and Norway as well. Um, it's just, I absolutely gravitate towards those songs, and this one is, this might find its way back to my number one again. Um, <laughs> between the Netherlands and Albania, they are both beautiful, emotional masterpieces in my mind, and I like the intricacies that they added in here. I also like the raw version from her live version from uh, Festivali Kangas. Um, this could very well end up my number one song. You'll just have to see when I put up my top list towards probably around mid-April. Uh, but, God, I love this song. I can listen to this every day and not get bored with it. There's certain songs this year that I can just listen to and not get bored with. I also mentioned uh, Lithuania and Belgium and uh, this right here, the Utokas. It's just uh, Yonida Malici, awesome singer, one of my favorites in the entire competition. Um, right there, her and Navina from Serbia are right up there as probably my favorite female vocalists of the year. The, the two of them are awesome. Well, oh, and Katerin. Duska from Greece. She's also phenomenal. There's so many good ones. There's so many good songs. I'm torturing myself trying to order these because there's so many that I love. You know, I, I want to make a decision because it's good to make a decision. But honestly, I'd be like, oh, these five can be my top. But uh, I will make a decision for the purpose of, you know, entertainment and, uh, you know, just making a decision. I hate indecisiveness. So I'll make a decision. But yeah, this is gorgeous gorgeous song and like i said one of my favorites of the entire competition so albania you're right there in my top two <laughs> so okay for now lethargic sloth out